If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try the question before listening on. We're going to go ahead and draw a picture to start the problem. So here is the beam that has fallen off the truck and it's sliding to the right in this picture. We've labeled that direction north since the question notes that's the direction that the beam is sliding in and then we have west and east labeled as well. And then the question notes that the magnetic field has a vertical component and what that means is that it's pointing straight down. In this picture, since we have a sort of overhead view of the beam, the magnetic field would be pointing into the computer screen and we've indicated that with these green X's. Now, as the beam slides through the magnetic field, there's going to be what's called an induced EMF, or if you prefer, a voltage, and that is dictated by the following equation. So the EMF is equal to the perpendicular component of the magnetic field multiplied by the speed of the object and then times the length of the object. We were given the speed in the question as well as the length, so those are pretty straightforward. The magnetic field is in micro Tesla, so we're going to have to convert that to Tesla by multiplying it by 10 to the minus 6. Notice that the magnetic field has to have a perpendicular component. In this question, the magnetic field is indeed perpendicular to the direction of motion. If you look carefully again at the picture, you can see the direction of motion is indicated by this red velocity vector. The magnetic field again is pointing into the computer screen, so hopefully you can see that they would indeed be perpendicular or form a 90 degree angle with each other. So we basically just have to plug in the given magnetic field as long as we convert it into Tesla. So let's go ahead and do that. And so when you compute that, you should get a value of approximately 1.31 times 10 to the minus 2 volts. And then if you need to convert it into millivolts, since it's such a small number of volts, you can say that 1 volt is equal to 10 to the 3 millivolts. And then after performing that calculation, you should get 13.1 millivolts, and that would be the correct answer. Thanks for watching the video. Please click the thumbs up icon if you liked it, and also subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can send your own question to this email address, and I'll do my best to post an answer to it on YouTube.